<laughs> okay, the caffeine wore off. Hello, everyone, and welcome back to the walkthrough. Let's duel this guy now. Hmm, the machine. It's not quite working right. Unlike Dr. Mason's machine, this machine is very complicated. Hmm, let's see here. You want to duel against me? Why, sure I would! By the way, in case you don't realize, that machine in back there looks just like a Game Boy or Game Boy Color. <laughs> a little bit of a tiny reference. So, for a prize duel, he's got the lovely Nidoran deck, and his strategy is to bring out Nido Queen and a bunch of Nido Queens to power up Nido Queen's boyfriend's attack. No basic Pokemon, huh? Interesting. Uh, basically, boyfriend's does 20 damage plus 20 more for every Nido King in play, but it's very difficult for him to really get this strategy running. Uh, because generally you're gonna be knocking out Pokemon faster than he's gonna be evolving them, so yeah. I don't have a single energy card in my hand, are you kidding me? <laughs> well, maybe he'll be able to actually power up some Pokemon, we'll see. I'll just put everything I have out and call it the start of the game. We'll see how things go. I'm going first, I got fire energy, that's more useful on Magmar in my opinion. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm gonna choose not to attack with Pikachu, even though I could gnaw at the Nidoran female. It just would be handier to have Magmar for the future. Magmar is a tricky little dicky. <laughs> 10 damage. You can, you're pretty much always gonna expect some damage from uh, uh, Fury Swipes, it's just how things are gonna go. And I'm gonna put that fire right on Magmar because I'm grabbing it. Oh boy. Oh boy. This is looking pretty. He must have a pretty decent hand to be able to evolve this soon! Well, then there's no effect. <laughs> and lightning energy. Suppose... I can retreat over to Magmar now and hope for a poison here. If I get heads, it's poisoned. Ooh, very nice! So that'll be to actually do 30 damage this turn. Oh, and it'll accumulate to 40 at the end of his turn. Very nice. He's probably gonna want to switch. Probably. Yep, that's what I thought. That's what I thought. Because the Nido Queen that comes after Nidorina is kind of his ace Pokemon, and he'd like to protect that. So, yeah. <laughs> and by the way, that call for friends thing, probably not super useful. Uh, at least. Because, I mean, it's, I guess it thins the deck a little bit, but it's not that big of a deal or anything like that. Uh, I don't care, I'm gonna go for another smog. Oh, yeah, that's exactly what I was hoping for. Woo! Feel the pain of the poison. I'll... It's going. It's going down. Oh, nope, it's not going down. <laughs> Dang, switchy flip flopper. Uh, Kangaskhan could come in handy for the future, but let's hope for another poison! <laughs> Unbelievable! It's <laughs> another head coin flip. It's entirely random too, it's just working out for me. And he's probably gonna switch again if he can help it. Uh, no, not going to. I guess he's tired of doing all these switches. He's like, oh, I'm, I'm kinda stuck, he just keeps poisoning me, I, I can't take it anymore. I guess I'll plop that on Kangaskhan and hope for another head coin flip. Ah, oh, my streak has ended. <laughs> That's all right though. I put the ro put him on the ropes quite a few turns there, and that is what I'm always hoping for to keep the pressure on the opponents if at all possible. And a little bit of scratch damage, literally from the fury swipes. Computer search. Can I get some use out of that? Maybe like evolving Pikachu to Raichu. But uh, for now, I'm gonna power up Kangaskhan for the future in the form of uh, uh, Comet Punch. Yeah, I, I think that's gonna be pretty broken uh, this early in the game's... I mean, versus this early in the game's decks. Uh, none of the Science Club members' decks are really super strong, which is why I decided to come here second, because I figure it'd be another uh, nice beginner's place for people with beginner's, I should say, starter decks to uh, start out with. So yeah, I guess I'll plop that on Machop and do a little bill, little Billy Billy, Billy. Oh, Professor Oak, very nice. I mean, I already had. Uh... Oh, I thought he had another Professor. 
No, wait, I was, I was thinking a computer search for some reason. I don't know, I'm derping. <laughs> I'll place her tat on the bench. And hope for heads! Aww. Oh, my luck has seemingly run out. <laughs> but that is okay. We will make it. We will do well. We will excel. And, nope. By the way, I doubt he's gonna put out Pinsir while I have Magma out because of the whole, uh, uh, fire weakness I believe Pinsir has. Yeah! <laughs> so I'm kinda preventing him from doing so. I'm gonna keep powering up Kangaskhan, though, and this smog will take it out. Woo! Oh, yeah. How do you like that? Probably not that much. And they'll do all... Yep, not gonna put out Pinsir, I thought so. Uh, but he is powering up Pinsir. Maybe his plan is to, like, guillotine uh, Magmar once he is ready, but by then I've got Kangaskhan, so... <laughs> As a matter of fact, I could actually try to um, knock out Do Duo with Kangaskhan by hoping for three coin flips with the Comet Punch, because, you know, um, for every coin flip you get out of four, you do 20 damage on Comet Punch, as I showed you before. So I have the, a good chance, a decent chance of knocking out Do Duo, but eh, I'm just gonna keep sticking with Magmar here. Uh, Iron Grip. So he's gonna try and stall me out. Nope, that failed. <laughs> so I'm gonna be able to do at least 40 damage to him uh, to that pincer next turn. Um, why say at least? Uh, it's because of the poison, but now that I notice, I got plus power. I mean, I know I had that, but I wasn't really thinking of uh, uh, needing to use that. But if I get a heads on this, I win the game. Ready? 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 Oh, this is gonna do uh, 40 damage plus the plus power, uh, so that's 50. And if I would have got the poison, that would have equaled 60, and I would have won the game. So he's probably gonna switch out. Oh yeah, I figured. I figured. Uh, let's see what do I have here. I could computer search. Oh wait, how's it? You know what? Why don't I just gust of wind? Why am I complicating things here? <laughs> and I win. Oh yeah! And with me winning in about seven minutes, there will most certainly be another duel coming this part. <laughs> oh yeah! My theory is that the machine's malfunction caused it. Sure, blame it on the machine. And not your overly high expectations for your neater end deck. <laughs> oh, Articuno. Uh, this is pretty nice in an all-water deck, especially if you have uh, Rain Dance Blastoise because of its stalling properties with Freeze Dry as well as the ability to pick at Pokémon at your opponent's bench. It can also hit your your own bench as well, but you know, it's, it's kind of the risk of using Blizzard. Uh, I think you've seen Rhydon before. Yeah, uh, Mr. Fuji is a kind of weird card. It can be used for some combos like... Uh, Cycling out to grab Pokemon back and forth from your deck with a special version of Zapdos type of deck, but I'll cover that a little bit later. Uh, you seen? I think you seen this, didn't you? Well, no, you seen that. It's pretty, pretty simple effect overall. Uh, you know Meowth, right? Yeah. Uh, this is a new version of Pikachu you probably haven't seen. Uh, this one allows you to attack your opponent's bench Pokemon. But, it's kind of energy pricey. Then again, it's 2 for th technically 30, so maybe not. But the thing is, that's the only attack it has, and it requires two specific lightning energy, so it's kinda not the best early game Pikachu. <laughs> so use that one at your own... Uh, I should say, use that one to your best interests at the time, I guess you could say. Uh, I'm pretty sure you've seen that. You probably know Nidoran Female by now. Um, yeah, I'm pretty sure you know this as well, so let's just move on. Alright, Vile Plume. Oh, this is the one that uh, Nikki was gonna use, you know, the Clubmaster, but nope! <sighs> she failed! <laughs> but anyway, that heal move is uh, pretty handy for continually healing your Pokémon, if at all possible, because it keeps offsetting damage similar to uh, what you can do with Defender. Uh, so yeah, and there's the pedal dance which you can do, which can does, which can do 120 damage. Excuse me. Uh, Dratini. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, eh, mm, not bad if I get a ye old Dragonair later on. Oh, here's another one of those uh, EV evolutions that use colorless energy. Uh, pretty nice for an all-you-can-eat type of deck. <laughs> Ah, uh, you seen that, you know that, you know that. Oh, no, no, no! Oh, yeah! 
That's going straight in my deck. Uh, shoulder. You see, she yeah, I showed you shoulder. Oh, did I get th uh, two meowths in a row? Yeah, I'm pretty sure I did. Interesting. <laughs> Alright, so for that energy removal, let's see what I can flip flop out of here. Definitely go in. And. Do I really need a. S I could probably use a switch. Hmm. Honestly, the least effective thing I have here in my trainers is probably the uh, potion, so I'm gonna drop one. Alright, now that I got that sorted out, I'll go over to this guy. Hey you! Rick Clubmaster is in the middle of an important experiment. You told me that before! But I'm ready to duel you now. <laughs> so I'm most certainly trying to defeat you here. So he's got a flying Pokémon deck. And what you want to do is use your lightning Pokémon versus it, because most of his Pokémon are weak against your lightning Pokémon. Most of them. There are some exceptions uh, of his flying Pokémon, such as, say, his Zubat Golbats, which have uh, the, the psychic weakness. But uh, you'll see as I get into stuff here. He doesn't have a completely flying deck, is what I'm saying here. You know, a flying stereotype deck, I guess. Um, um, I'll put, Rit put out Rattata, Charmander on the bench, and Kangaskhan on the bench, okay? Okay, I'll uh, probably power up Kangaskhan on the side there, uh, in attempts to potentially use Comet Punch later on, and uh, since... Since, since Rattata has no retreat cost, I'm gonna switch right over to Pikachu here, because I got one now. And gnaw away at that Pidgey. As you can see, he doesn't have any bench Pokémon there. So, uh, unless he draws it- Oh god, Flying Pikachu is one of the worst cards. I just think one of the most annoying cards in the game. Uh, you'll see why if he's able to utilize its great power. <laughs> of lucky coin flips. It seems like computers are excessively lucky when it comes to um, flying Pikachu for some reason. I don't know why. It, it's just how it is. And oh god, it, it, can, it can lock out so many Pokemon just straight from using agility or paralyzing Pokemon. And man, you're getting used to bench Pokemon left and right now, aren't you? <laughs> And here comes the Thunder Shock. Oh no! Here comes the coin flips! <laughs> here it comes! Oh boy, my Pikachu is probably doomed! Well, I got a full heal. Now, uh, what I'm gonna do here is full heal, and then I'm going to plus power. And then I'm going to. I'm pretty sure you see where this is going. Thunder Jolt and hope that I get heads. Very nice. No damage to myself. Goodbye, you monstrosity! Goodbye! <laughs> oh, I should actually show you uh, Flying Pikachu's attacks. It's a rare promotional card, so you won't see it very often. Uh, that's why I'd like to show it to you here. I'll eventually get one myself, and I'll show you where to get one. But uh, you're not going to see one for a while, so that's why I'd like to show you now, so you can get an idea of its strategy for the future. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to hold B and press left, you can see your opponent's... Uh, wait, whoops, I, I'm, excuse me, B and press right, you can see your opponent's discard pile. There's Flying Pikachu. Thundershot! Paralyzes! Annoying! Fly! Dodges all effects of attacks, including damage! Annoying! <laughs> so yeah, this Pikachu, for only having 40 HP, is a lot of trouble. Anyway, I'm going to... Set that up, and get a Thunder Jolt going here. Hopefully, I won't do damage to myself, and it'll force him to knock out Pikachu. But you never know. Ah, <laughs> oh, poopers! <laughs> oh well. Luck is a part of the game, and I wish I had my other plus power. <laughs> um, um, um... I guess Charmander. I'll be able to knock out Fear Roll next turn anyway. Providing things go well, yeah, Drill Pack can only do a maximum of 40 unless he got a plus power himself. So that's not a big deal. I didn't have any worries about Charmander there. Um, well, actually, I win right now, but I'm just gonna do some stuff for the fun of it and then do a scratch. Scratch damage for the win! And I win because he has no bench Pokemon. And I guess I sorta of, kinda got lucky there since he wasn't able to wreck me with Flying Pikachu. 
and he didn't really draw that many Pokémon for the bench. But a win is a win, and you have to see what his deck is pretty much about. So, yeah. And he gives us laboratory booster packs! Remember, if you would like to get more cards between parts, feel free to read Duel, people. Always remember, it's obvious, though. <laughs> uh, ooh, there's a muck. Oh, yeah! That's a tricky little critter there. <laughs> yeah! Yeah! Oh, I, I should also show a uh, sludge here. Gonna hit and do poison, but you're mostly gonna be using it for its uh, Pokemon power to lock down stuff like, say, uh, Rain Dance Blastoise, uh, uh, you know, Charizard, th that sort of thing, you know, preventing other people from being able to utilize their Pokemon. And, uh, Weezing, pretty sure you've seen the. Yeah, because it destroyed me <laughs> in the last part. Uh, maintenance. Ugh. 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 Let's move on. Uh, I showed you that. Uh, you know Grimer. You've seen this Magnemite. I think you've seen this before. Yeah, you've probably seen that before. And you've probably seen Spearow from his flying Pokemon deck if you played. And yeah. Okay, okay, let's see. Oh man, oh man, oh man, what are we get? What are we get? Oh, we got another one of those coming over. <laughs> oh yes! Yes! This Magmar will be the bane of more opponents' existences. Mm, I don't think I showed you this. This is a very nice card for ye old poison deck. If you're making a poison deck, I would recommend it to an extent, even if it has 60 HP. It still puts the pressure on the opponent because of that poison fang. Uh, Horsey is pretty annoying. It's, it's the water version of Flying Pikachu. <laughs> Uh, Onyx is a pretty nice stalling Pokemon for uh, fighting type decks uh, because it's got a lot of HP. It's got 90 as you've seen and uh, Harden here, uh, which prevents quite a lot of damage from quite a lot of Pokemon. So yeah, uh, Gambler. Oh God, please don't use this. I beg you. <laughs> uh, recycle. Use this, but don't expect that you'll always get the best out of it. And there we go. All right, so. Well, I, I gotta kind of bother him for a duel. I mean, I need the science medal! But for now, I am going to put that Magmar in by swapping out this one, you know, this version of Magmar, and put in this version of Magmar, because that, in my opinion, is the superior version of Magmar. And with that, I'm gonna end off the part here. I hope you enjoy, and I'll see you in the next part when I battle... Science Boy Rick. Rick Nye, the science guy. I I don't know what I'm saying anymore. <laughs> <laughs>